Hey everyone, this is uh, Coach Mark from Panthro Fitness, and what we're doing today is I'm going to take you through a little dissection of one of our clients, uh, a successful client's uh, food journal. Um, this client, this particular client, has been working with me now on her diet and nutrition, meeting with me pretty consistently uh, for quite a while now, quite a few months. Um, she's uh, lost a considerable amount of weight. I think she's down probably close to 40 pounds now. Um, she's not too far off of her goal weight. So um, we wanted to take this time and uh, break down her journal because it's pretty beautiful. As you can tell here, it's um, really well put together and she spends a lot of time recording her food journal, which is one of the uh, most beneficial aspects of uh, uh, controlling a diet. It's, it's one of the things that we harp on a lot and people who do it tend to be the most successful. So. Um, as you can see here, we have a Saturday from November and a Sunday um, of her food log. Now she's she's taking uh, she's taken a lot more than just these weeks. She's been logging ever since she started her diet with us. Um, but we wanted to take these two days and explain why she does some of the things she does and what we've instructed her to take as far as supplementation and how to time her meals properly around workouts and such. So let's just break it down step by step. So if you look in the far right column, you're going to see her timestamps of when she ate the food and on the left, on the far left side of exactly what she ate meal by meal. And the columns here uh, with the numbers in it represent her uh, starting from the top column uh, with that 1318 number that is her calorie count for the day um, the next number is her uh, uh, fat intake I believe no her carbon uh, excuse me her carbohydrate intake and then the next column over the 66 represents her fat intake the 87 is her, her uh, protein intake I believe um, if my memory serves me correctly but uh, anyway that has uh, nothing to do with what we're going to talk about today we're not getting into amounts because everyone's amounts are just individualized depending on your needs body size metabolism and, and overall your own genetic code here so let's just look at her food choices her timing and uh, talk about why she did the thing she did so starting with her breakfast at 6 706 a.m. of her uh, top uh, column here on uh, the row 311 underneath breakfast uh, you can see that she started her day by using um, the Ionic Supreme product by Isogenics um, what this product is is uh, basically an antioxidant and very powerful health and overall general detoxifying product uh, I myself as a coach take it and I, I find it does wonders you can treat this uh, product when you take it as just an overall health supplement so she starts her day off right by taking that in first thing in the morning with uh, some water and um, she starts her day off with uh, uh, nice healthy uh, organic sources of fat you can see that she does uh, extra virgin coconut oil and uh, Irish uh, uh, grass-fed butter by the company Kerrygold now uh, this particular client is uh, doing a certain style of diet because she's uh, lost a, a good amount of weight and we needed to keep that train rolling so this is kind of an advanced diet but uh, the fact remains that she starts her day with fat and fat only on this particular day because on her Saturday she engages in a boxing class so it's very cardiovascular based not so much strength training um, so she doesn't need a ton of protein to begin the day off uh, we're looking to get her uh, metabolic kicking with uh, 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 metabolism kicking rather with uh, coconut oil which contains what's called MCTs medium chain triglycerides so um, that's why she starts off with pure fat and she's sending signals to her body to not uh, store as you would with taking in carbohydrates through the day. So she eats her breakfast at 7 or 6 a.m. She makes her way to the gym. She has an intense workout with us at Panther Fitness for about an hour. Um, really gets that heart rate thrumping and uh, burns a ton of calories. After her uh, workout, she you can see she has her breakfast when she gets home at 11.35 a.m. Starts off perfectly. She has a uh, uh, good sources of protein from her egg whites and she gets in some fiber from some banana peppers and some extra some more fat so as uh, the pattern is developing here is we we like fat in our diets as, as opposed to carbohydrates for fuel so if you look at her uh, meal eggs with banana pepper she made herself a nice little omelet and cooked it in olive oil perfect um, that's a it's a good way to um, uh, keep your me metabolism rolling and prevent some storage of hormones because remember this isn't a strength training day this is a more cardiovascular day so she doesn't need a ton of carbohydrates to replenish glycogen stores so much because she's not demanding that from her body now as we go down the list here at 147 p.m. that's a good spacing from 1135 it's a good time she has some lunch so you can look she has some protein and some kale and uh, that's uh, uh, protein and some carbohydrates from the kale, fibrous carbohydrates, great, still uh, 
doesn't need a lot of fat in that meal because she had plenty in the, the beginning stages of her day. Um, going on to her dinner, which is a little later than I like to see it on this day, but nonetheless, she did a pretty good job on this day overall. Um, her dinner is uh, grass-fed ground beef, again, stressing the grass-fed from grass-fed sources. That's uh, always a positive thing. And uh, you can look and see that her... Uh, the carbohydrate intake on these meals comes from vegetables, and she gets some healthy fats from her avocados, and she has a little bit of alcohol that night. This is her Saturday. This is her day that we encourage her to kind of uh, not necessarily splurge, but definitely treat herself a little bit because she's done so well, and she chose to use her little splurge on a couple cans of beer, it looks like. Um, I prefer her not to drink the beer and maybe go for something else, maybe like a red wine or a clear liquor if she's going to um, indulge in a little bit of alcohol, but you know, for, for the amount of work she does and the, the workouts that I run her through on the Saturday because I, I coach her class, um, I, I can tell she her body can uh, make use of that. So that's okay. And snacks through the day, you can look. She had, oh, well, the spacing looked to be a little better than I previously thought. Um, she had almonds and uh, an Isoline bar as snacks for the day. She had the almonds in the middle of the day at 12.45 and a little later on the Isoline bar by Isogenics, which is uh, basically a meal replacement, which is high in protein, um, high in healthy fat, and she has a nice bit of carbohydrates coming in there also from complex sources. So as you can see, she's getting in plenty of carbohydrates in the day, even though she's not eating things like breads. She's not eating pastas or potatoes or anything like that, and she feels great. And uh, the one thing we always stress is we want you to feel good on your diet, but at the same time doing things that's going to get that uh, body fat off your body. So one thing I stress to her is that communication between me and her has to be of the utmost importance. And on these days, I always keep track of how she's feeling, and she's feeling great. And uh, so she did good. Uh, the grade for her Saturday, I would probably give that a strong B plus, if not an A minus, just because of I don't like to see beer in fat loss diets. And I would say that she probably could have um, uh, upped her protein intake just a bit um, but, you know, overall, that's a pretty good score for, for uh, a day. And as we go down to Sunday, which is um, her off day, she only does a bit of cardiovascular work uh, because she prefers that. Um, we don't, I don't require her to do that on Sundays um, uh, at this point in her diet, but she does like to go for a little bit of a run. Um, I encourage people not to use running as a staple exercise, but she prefers running one day a week. She enjoys it, so I say go for it. Um, and she does that first thing in the morning. and that's before breakfast in a fasted state to really draw upon some bat body fat stores. So for breakfast, once again, she starts her day off perfectly with that Ionic Supreme product, uh, getting her cells healthy and energized for the rest of the day. And uh, again, she uh, uses that organic coconut oil, and uh, she has some coffee with that grass-fed butter, and her uh, next meal of the day is nothing but protein and some healthy carbohydrates coming from uh, the veggies found in, in salsa. And... Um, uh, yeah, that's a that's a great breakfast and a great way to start the day. Um, as we go down the list here, she has a meal replacement for lunch. She has one of those isoline bars, which are um, insanely uh, tasty and and filling really. So she she's doing well with that. And then she doesn't eat again until about mm, two thirty p.m. down there at the bottom of her snacks list, uh, which she has some the isoline pro meal replacement. So she used two meal replacements in a row right there. Not a bad necessarily bad thing. I, I prefer to her to kind of stagger whole food meals and meal replacements, but it's still a a good uh, good thing to do there, especially on an off day. Like I said, Sunday, she's not doing any kind of weight training, so she's getting in plenty of protein, repairing her, her uh, tissue for the following week's boot camps because she does work extremely hard in boot camp to push her strength levels, and she continues to get stronger and stronger. And also, you can notice here on this Sunday is a cleanse day for her. She uses the Isogenics cleanse system to uh, uh, basically detoxify the system, and, and she's engaged in uh, one of our uh, fitness challenges this month, and she's really looking to uh, take away that first place prize. Um, so she's using a cleanse, uh, one of the cleanse products from Isogenics to really boost that. So some, uh, at this point in her diet, she wouldn't be cleansing normally. We usually like to start diets off with the cleanse, kind of get things rolling. But she kind of wanted to go the extra mile, so she uses cleanses on, on uh, Sundays. And that's the cleanse product is, is simply a powderized product that she eats. And... Um, and yeah, that's it. And she uh, looks like she got in some some almonds as a snack at about 9 a.m. Well, maybe she was a little hungry um, after her breakfast because her metabolism is revving from her intense workouts because this, this particular client works very very hard. And one thing I want to point out with this uh, these food log this food log here comparing Saturday to Sunday, if you look in the uh, uh, column under D, that's her total calorie count. She has um, you know 
significantly less calories on her Sunday and than her Saturday, and that's because she's not doing the, the same activity. So we like to eat uh, dynamically here at Panthro, and when you're not doing a ton of activity, you're not going to be eating as much as you were during a day when you have a tense workout. So she does that perfectly. Now, this particular client, um, because of her body size, I, always, I tend to think that she eats a little lower calorie than I'd like to see, but, however, I can't knock it because she has continued to drop weight consistently, and only now, after dieting now for close to, well, not dieting, but, you know, attempting to lose body fat now for going on, ooh, close to four or five, maybe even six months now, um, and she's lost close to 40 pounds, um, her metabolism is going to generally start to slow down and recognize what's going on in her body, and again, the body's about survival, so, um, we want those calories to stay as high as possible while coming from good sources. Now, this particular person um, feels great eating low calories. Some people feel better than others. Some people have uh, a, a general, a general uh, uh, better way of dealing with lower calorie diets than some people. Some people require more calories. Their brains require more calories to function at their optimal level. So, I always make sure to communicate to this person that she should feel energized about the day. She should be getting stronger during her weight training, and she is. So I have no problem with her eating a little bit lower calories. I wouldn't generally prescribe this low of calories um, for someone. I like I would generally like to see your calories up, um, maybe more towards the 1300 consist uh, 1300 calories per day consistently. Maybe even a little higher for someone with her amount of muscle on her frame because she is a particularly strong uh, female. But overall, um, she's doing very very well. So as you can see. The, this comes down to food logging. So she logs her food religiously every day, as you can tell as I scroll through here. Um, she does a lot of food logging. You look at this. This is a really good job. And she continues to food log. And she has from day one with timestamps. And she also is communicating with me how she's feeling every time we get together. So bottom line is, uh, uh, looking at this this uh, Sunday and Saturday, I would give this Saturday a, a strong B+, plus, maybe even an A- minus score. And her Sunday... Um, Besides that, uh, uh, you know that double stacking of meal replaces, I would give this also a strong uh, B plus or maybe even an A minus as well. So uh, again, the general uh, uh, rule of thumb here is, as you can tell, is she starts her day off with healthy sources of fat. And I know some of you are looking at that Irish butter and saying like, "Oh, butter is healthy." Well, this Irish butter, yes, it is. It's from an, a grass-fed source. It's unsalted, and she starts her day off with it. And she only uses a tablespoon. It equates to about 14 grams of fat. Um, uh, saturated fat, yes, but saturated fat can be. It is healthy for the body if you're engaged in weight training and exercising on a very consistent basis like this client is. So overall, these two days combined, I would give this uh, at least a B plus score, if not an A minus. And the only way that I would, uh, the only thing I would say to her to, you know, increase that score and, you know, uh, overall better is eliminate that, that be alcoholic beverage on Saturdays because even though beer is a lot of fun, people, it, it, it is a uh, depressant on the, uh, the metabolism. And if your goal is optimal fat loss each and every day, which it should be if you have a goal of, of reaching with your physique, um, you need to get rid of that alcohol as, as, as much as possible. Um, also, another thing I want to comment on is her intake of vegetables. She's eating a lot of vegetables, as you can tell. Lettuce, spinach, onions. She has, yeah, some fruits in there, some avocados. She's, she's, banana peppers, you know, and, uh, 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 she, but and another thing I have to talk about is she uses uh, supplements. She uses vitamins. She takes in extra minerals through the Ionics product. So basically, that Ionics product is all the best parts of fruits and vegetables in powderized form. So she's getting all these good phytochemicals and nutrients out of these vegetables, and that goes a long way of feeling good and energized throughout the day. You can eat pretty low calories as long as you're getting in the right amount of vitamins and minerals, which this client definitely is. And uh, this this. Uh, Audio file has now uh, exceeded the time I wanted it to, but I wanted to t make sure I was as detailed as possible. So, uh, yes, this this person gets a, a very good grade from me, and I hope uh, the people listening to this uh, audio can get something out of this, and hopefully we'll do more of these in the future. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your time. All right, this is Mark Zestock from Panther Fitness signing off. Thanks.